Interpreting Ohm's Law Graphs by kscience.com The gradient of the line depends on the resistance of the resistor or component. Here are two graphs where potential difference is on the x-axis and current is on the y-axis. As the lines are straight, we can see how they observe Ohm's Law, as potential difference is directly proportional to current. So the graph on the left has a steeper gradient, and the graph on the right has a shallower gradient. We know the gradient of the line depends on the resistance of the resistor or the component in the circuit. So the graph on the left has a steeper gradient, therefore we can interpret this component as having a lower resistance. Whereas the graph on the right has a shallower gradient, therefore we can interpret the component as having a higher resistance. The graph on the left has a lower resistance as for the same potential difference the current is higher, whereas the graph on the right has a higher resistance as for the same potential difference the current is lower. This red line has been inserted into the graphs to show how for the same current to be achieved on both conductors. The graph on the left requires a lower potential difference. This means less energy has been needed to force the electrons through the metal wire. Whereas the graph on the right, to achieve the same current, the potential difference is higher. More energy has been required to force the electrons through the metal wire. Therefore, the resistance is higher in the graph on the right and the resistance is lower in the graph on the left. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Here's a task for you to complete. Here is a potential difference graph showing three wires, X, Y, and Z. Question one is, is the temperature of each wire constant? And how do you know? Question two is which wire has the highest resistance? Pause now and attempt these questions. The answers will follow. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Here is a potential difference and current graph of an ohmic conductor. We're going to go through a worked example of the kind of exam question you could potentially get in an exam. The question is, calculate the resistance of this wire. So the question is asking us to calculate the resistance. And to do that, we'll need some data. We're going to use the graph. We can see on the x-axis we have potential difference and on the y-axis, we have current. So this is the data we'll be using to calculate the resistance. To calculate resistance, the equation we're going to use is R equals V over I. To figure out what V and I equals, we'll need the graph. And because the line is straight coming from the origin, this tells us the relationship between potential difference and current is directly proportional. Potential difference increases at the same rate as the current. From previous videos, we've already learnt when the potential difference is directly proportional to the current, the resistance is constant. The resistance does not change as long as the temperature is constant as well. So because the resistance does not change, all we need to do is to calculate the gradient in order to find out what the resistance is. So as the resistance is constant, we can use any potential difference value and current value. I've chosen to use one volt as shown on the graph. So the potential difference is one volt. And if we then go across, the current is 0.2 amps. So I write 0.2 just here. 
It's important to note that you could have chosen any potential difference and current value from this graph, and you will always get the same resistance value as we're dealing with an ohmic conductor. Now, if we put this data into the equation, resistance equals one volt divided by 0 0.2 amps. So our final answer is resistance equals five ohms. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.